trailers in we've seen earlier, Tyson. We've got them all here strapped down, mate. Going into the big hole, mate. Well, welcome back, and if this is your first time, thanks for joining us. This time we're down in Tasmania, a hell of a trip. It was such a beautiful time down there, seeing all that Tasmania has to offer. I don't think we even scratched the surface, to be honest. We're down there for a couple of weeks, just didn't seem long enough. Did a hot lap around Tassie, checking out random places. We had such an amazing time, and we suggest that if you haven't been, go book yourself a spot now on the boat, get the Forby friends, and family and head over there and go explore food history great people it's got it all tasmania well that was our experience and uh here's a bit more of it hopefully you enjoy it eh? cheers So this was our camping setup pretty much for the trip, apart from the nights where we had cabins and stuff, was an Oz tent. This is an RV4 or 5, had the flyover, that kind of stuff for it. We used it for the trip, but found it too much of a hassle to pack up in the rain. We sold it as soon as we got back from the trip, went back to Swags. Montezuma Falls, one of the most iconic waterfalls and full drive tracks in Tasmania. Smashing rear bar on it. Watch that drop in there, Gwen. Can't exactly go around here. But... <laughs> Just go real slow for your back to drop in. 
it doesn't look as bad as the other one. And look, I think the other one was worse. It's similar. And there's a branch over the track here. That's where I am. The next hole, mate. Just stay to your left. <laughs> okay, found the step. <laughs> a ten mil step, mate. <laughs> stay to your left, he said. Oh, yeah, there it is. Down there. <laughs> it's amazing what a difference it is when you take off uh, forty liters of petrol oil and water off the roof. Yeah. stuff on the roof today.
It's amazing how the sunshine changes the colours of everything. Oh, what are they, mozzies? Yep, mozzies. Is this it? <laughs> is this the end of the bridge? End of the line. Spider right above Keith's head, two of them. In front of you, sort of just Okay. Keep going. I'm bending my head. Why are you bending your head? You right, mate? Yeah. yeah, buddy. Hanging on. Oh, whoa! Good job. Whoa! <laughs> Did you do a fart? No. Are you sure? No, it just did go fart. Okay. Maybe that was the brakes. Ah, uh, it's the mud flap. Daddy's mud flaps, they drag on the ground when they get in the hole sometimes. Put the bank in there. Oh, no. oh, here we go. Please stop. Please yeah. Stop. yeah. 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 Trying to keep my head still for the head cam, mate. Cause look, no hands. <laughs> you hear it grinding, Jim? Yeah, I hear it that we we I was part of Yeah. Just a bug. Yeah. Oh. Holy, holy! It is a very bumpy. It is a very bumpy track, but it's gonna be worth it. Cause we're gonna get right up this big waterfall. It's called Montezuma Falls. Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, right. Maybe one of us can we all can. Yeah, you might back out. Yeah. Oh, there's. Oh. Holy dooly. And he's still going, so. No, you are not jumping on it, and you are not jumping on it either. I'll go in front of you. And Glenn, you go at the back so we get the sway. Holy dooly. Montezuma Falls.
Hey dude, how was that? You did really well, mate. So easy. Who's this? Uh, Mum, I think I convinced her. Yeah. We're going this way. Hey, you made it. Seasickness tablets. Can seasickness tablets. Can I check your heart right now? Can I check your heart right now? I think it fell off the bridge. That is so cool. Isn't it? That's just something else. Yeah. It's okay. Well, it's fine. Yeah. So this chunk of timber here. Oh, is that where I left it? Yeah. <laughs> That's part of the bridge. Oh, wow. And all, all rickets. For that? They used to go around here. Oh, for the train? Yeah. Oh, wow. Bolts for it? Yeah. Some big bolts. Oh, okay. Not the right one, get me. Hang on, Keith, what's going on here, mate? I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> what are those on your feet? Oh, they're just little bolts. Yeah, they're just little bolts. Yeah, they're just little bolts. Yeah, they're just little bolts. Where's the jandals, mate? Where's the flip flops? Where's the thongs? I left them at home. I thought you were a man of your word of just thongs and t-shirt, mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, some of the some of the myth of the legends is washing away now, Tyson. I thought he was going to thong it all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't bloody blame you. Is anybody else? Cool. going back a little blue or whatever it was. Wake, wake up to 100 metres of snow Oh, Willie, if you go pay about 200 grand and buy one of the better sh ha uh, huts there, out of the mud, you'll fall over. I bet you end, you end up getting stuck in a soft spot, your, boot, your foot will come out of the boot and you'll fall over. That old train tracks. See the old sleepers here? We're walking on the train tracks. Is it, we, have to, we might have to run soon, Tyson. It's going to be like that scene out of Stand By Me. Oh wow, a cave. I knew a Batman lived here. No, to the Bat no, Cave. No, 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 no. Let there be light. <laughs> Just go slow, mate. You're all right. Have a look at the waterfall when you get in the middle. I'm only doing it because I have to. Fucking. Top of that ridge bit there. No, uh, on this place here. There's, there's, oh. oh, just in there. Yeah, this yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. We had a road. They used to go up into the walk up the path. Yeah. We used to walk up the road.
Hey, just checking in on you. Thought we'd let you know that we're now heading off on a twilight drive here, led by Keith, showing us around some of the local spots around Zian on an evening twilight drive. Well, so far, Keith, I'm enjoying the back way. sends us and his caution tape across the track here. <laughs> yeah, just ignore it. That's where they um, had a run up here not long back. Silver out of there, out of the hills. Special, special metals. And, um, but how would they drive? In, in, on the train. They had a special train tracks through here. It's all overgrown. There's all these little trees weren't here. They used to have houses all around here, but they're all gone now. Because it's back in the olden days, over a hundred years ago. If you look back about five o'clock, you can see the town down through there. Oh, well, okay, I've just seen a track to my right as well, put this straight down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's made by track. There's a few of them along here. Yeah, wow. Well. Um, yeah. How did they put these trees here? Well, they just grew. And did they have any rain? Yeah, they just got really old and they fell down. Sidelights on Glen so you can see easy too, mate.
nice if possible. Yeah, mate, I'll just come back down. Close your eyes for a minute, mate. I'll put my light on. What did I just get out and walk? That's right. Back to filming. Back to put the window up. She's a little bit cool. <laughs> oh, God. That's the low tree. She'll clear it easy. You're going to take this tree out up here, Glenn. That feels not too bad, mate. But I reckon we'll hit your rack. Definitely hit that, just stay hard left, man. This feels like we're going through a mine tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go catch him so he doesn't hurt So you do it. Okay. I'll be with mum. Ready? I've got him, 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 go, 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 go. Jump on, get him, mate, get him, get him, hold him down. <laughs> He's kicking me, taking his lunch money. <laughs> This thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the full drives. Oh. oh, there's jeeps. Can we get a sausage? 
I had to be there with you, I can be. Yeah. yeah. What's this? Is this a rocky, isn't it? It's a diesel. Daddy, do you want this full drive? No, nah, it's the 80. Yeah, I want it, I want it, because it's got these big rubber big toys. Mm. Bigger than yours. Hey, Glenn, have a gig of this, mate. The box. Yeah. GU. It's one of the cleanest GUs. I was going to get the nice exhaust on her. The owner of the, the Ute here, the, the GU, the number one. Sorry? The top one. This one here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm the owner. Oh, is that your Ute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you going, Jason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, mate. What's your name? Sunny. Sunny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I just, just, just voted for you. Oh, yeah, well, that won the full drive show at ARB the other day. Did it? Yeah. Can we go have a look? Yeah. Is that alright? Yeah. Uh, GQ. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. Well, yeah. we're not rich, so we build up, I've done everything, so... Oh wow, yeah. It's not finished yet. Yeah. Three months. Is it, so it's custom scrub bars, yeah, sliders. Yeah, did all them for me. Yeah. He's, and um, this is part of this looks like it's part of the tray, but it's not actually part of the cab. Yeah, no, I did notice the drawings. I've seen a so, um, seen who's got one? Um, Graham Cahill. Yeah, well, I, I'm mates with him. Oh yeah, yeah okay. So, we yeah. see, I see an issue. Yeah. Come here, we. Yeah. So so far it's been ten grand. I think that's pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah. 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 Used to have these wheels and. Big I, wheels I was thinking that. Bit, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you voted correctly, mate. Hey, you're gonna get paid. I don't, this, have, any <laughs> I don't have any coins on me. I don't have any coins on me. I don't look. I've just spent all the money on this. Get in your back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't dig any up this morning on the way down. I was still... Yeah. So it's got uh, this one's for. We can press it, but I haven't finished it. Oh, sorry, I just got back on the road the other day, so we haven't really finished all of it. It's going to be lined with, you know, that felt stuff. Yeah. I have a port here, port the other side, one under the bonnet for the compressor. Yeah. So this side uh, is just Yeah, a this drop. is awesome, this. this oh, awesome. look at that. That's cool. Well, this was all Kinney's last time. <laughs> <laughs> PG rated now. <laughs> yeah. We're done. Where's the paradigm, mate? In the club, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We went out just to look at our hut, actually, believe it or not, and there was nothing there. When driving, it always pays to pay attention to the road because you never know and there could be something on it, like a beautiful bit of Australian wildlife. Here we slow down for an echidna to safely cross the road and we keep on our way. Be mindful of that when you're travelling around Australia. Mama. Bingo! 
He's not happy, mate. You can just throw it on him. He's still trying to get it off. I'm sorry. I'm going to try. <laughs> I actually, think. maybe they've got a feed top in there. I'm not supposed to. Ah, beautiful. Well, we've made it through the Belfer track. Glenn's just uh, going through the last bit of it now. What a drive. We <laughs> had a bit of water everywhere, but what a ripper. Belfer track, tick. Our old Mint Forby here doing a great job of it. Uh, there he is. Yo! Well done, mate. We went down to Port Arthur and took the tour around Port Arthur. So much history there, and some of it's quite ghastly. And no, we're not talking about the 90s stuff. We're talking about the first settlement and how people come over here as convicts for something as stealing a, as simple as a handkerchief. Can you believe that? Set months on a boat as a prisoner, then seven years labour over here to pay off for stealing a handkerchief. It's not right to steal, but kind of excessive, I think, anyway. Anyway, this, this tour guide here, I can't remember his name, it could have been Michael. Yeah, it might be, maybe not. Anyway, he was fantastic and one of the best tour guides of any sort of thing I've had before for touring like this. It's quite amazing. All the, there's a lot of buildings still there and they go through everything that sort of how they were used, how people were treated and, and uh, timelines and all this kind of stuff and it's very interesting. Even for people that aren't like nerdy history buffs, it's still a really cool thing to go do and have a look around and it's still a beautiful place as well. So well worth checking out at Port Arthur Historic Centre there and there's uh, heaps of information, there's cafes and everything. Really nice place to visit. We had a great time there and that's on our list to go back just to absorb some more because there's so much to take in with the history stuff there. It's very fascinating, we found.